Wetland at Martinmere is home to 80,000 birds every year. A couple of Avocet chicks. Avocets have bred with us since 2001. Right from those Avocet chicks, it looks like we've got three female ruff and a male ruff in full breeding plumage, which is really rare in this part of uh, in England. So what are we going to see on this trip then? So as we start going around, we'll see mallards, like we've just got out there behind us, get nice and close to them. Uh, dragonflies and damselflies skitting across the top of the water. So we're going through uh, quite a nice part of the canoe safari. So you've got all these um, reeds, that the, all the green bit with the dead bits at the top. That's all starting to grow up and it's really good habitat for different species. You get reed bed habitat specialists like um, bearded tits. They like that kind of uh, reedy habitat. Talk me through your job then. What do you do on a day-to-day -day basis? Counting the bird species, seeing what's about, seeing how well they breed. Especially this time of year we're doing a lot of work with ringing birds, especially tree sparrows, which are a fairly rare bird around the UK. Ringing all their chicks and then we can start to monitor those chicks as they hatch out and start flying about and see which ones are staying with us at Martinmere. I remember one person telling me it's like a big bird table, so we put, make sure the habitat's right, all the food's out there for them and all these birds come piling in. Mesh is one of 50 English longhorn cows who live at Martinmere and their job to make this place a perfect home for the wildlife. And what they are is pretty much natural lawnmowers for us, so they manage the wetlands in a perfect way for all the different birds and flowers and insects that we get here. And the calves are just a byproduct of them. We've got a bull on site and we breed the cattle, so we have nice little calves running around the herd. Birds fly in from all over Europe and even as far as America to holiday here with such beauty. I think they've picked a perfect destination. We'll be back at Martin Mia later in the year. Who knows, we may even get to see the 30,000 pink-footed geese who fly here for the winter. <laughs>